Just wondering, when you have one in a month and a half, what kind of a mental toll to take? How much tougher is it to kind of get these kids going every week? I think it would be if we didn't attack it the way we do. Um, you know, probably the biggest theme I've always had in my coaching career has been control the controllables. We're getting to the point where you guys could probably, if I went like that, know what I was going to say. Um, and I think a lot about uh, some of the coaches uh, in the modern era that, um, one, I respect, and two, uh, I, I ask a lot of questions. I was, uh, I was mentioning to Axe earlier, um, when I first got into the league, uh, had a chance to sit down and talk with Coach Cutcliffe at, uh, at Duke. And uh, he was recruiting uh, Ryan uh, Smith, DeAndre's son. So there was some commonality there that we could talk about. And uh, I always felt like Syracuse and Duke had some very similar uh, aspects to uh, run a program in this league. Uh, although I do think our, our side of the division is a lot more difficult than that side. And we joke about that. But, um, and, you know, he said stay true to what you believe in and what's worked and, and what's given you an opportunity to be in that seat. And uh, that's what we've done. And I look at him and I look at his years at Duke. You know, back in 2008, I think he won four games. And then 09, I think it was five games. And then in his third and fourth year, they went three and nine and three and nine. Um, then they won six, I believe. And then they took off and won maybe nine or ten, two years in a row which brings us to, to uh, today. And, uh, you know, I look at that model, I look at that formula, and he's done it with uh, kids of integrity that had uh, intelligence as well, that were true student athletes. And uh, that's how we focus on not looking at, at things and not becoming a law, uh, understanding that the process is key, and if we stay true to the process, things will work out. Uh, never as fast as you want them to. You know, if you win six, you feel like you should have won seven. If you win, uh, if you're sitting at three right now, you wish you would have won five, you know. Losing two games, the last play of the game, could have gone either way. Difficult, but it's only as difficult as we let it become. So when we get in this room, we focus on what are we going to do next to improve and how are we going to control our minds uh, through our actions on the practice field, in the weight room, even in the cafeteria and up on campus. And uh, a lot of that has to be uh, focused in on controlling uh, the things that are right in front of you and blocking out the noise.